Hello YouTube, I'm here today about Scott Pilgrim, in particular, a flaw, I've seen, I've, a flaw in the movie that I've heard some people complain about, that I'd like to address not only the flaw that some people see in Scott Pilgrim, but also what that flaw means for movies in general. That's really vague. Okay, the flaw is that I've heard the complaint that the character Scott Pilgrim is an asshole, and they do not like the movie because of that. Uh, both the movie and the comics, it really relates to both. Um, and the first thing I have to say to that is I am a fan of the, the movie, I am a fan of the comics, and I disagree with that statement conceptually. Um, I'm not saying you have to like them, but I'm just saying that well, I have contentions about that comment being made. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is that as far as specifically talking about Scott Pilgrim goes, there might be spoilers here, so if you want to avoid spoilers, stop watching now. Um, yes, he is a jerk. He is an asshole. And that's kind of the point of the movie, because by the end, he's grown some. Am I saying he's a better character now? That he'll never uh, dump a woman in a bad way or forget something important that he has to do or mooch off his friends ever again? Of course not. I'm saying that by the end of the movie I've, by, or by the end of the movie and the comics I've seen a degree of character development in him that is leading him towards the path of becoming a better person. Um... And some people say that it's not enough change, that he's still a bit of an asshole at the end, especially uh, I've heard complaints that he should have, in the movie, now we're heading into spoiler territory for the movie, that in the movie he should have uh, gone with knives because they don't see his relationships with Ramona lasting. And all I have to say to that is, Wow, a character didn't do a complete 180 uh, personality flop by the end of the movie? Shocker! I mean, if by the end of the movie he was saving puppies and shit... That's a bad example, because Scott would save puppies no matter what. The point is that if he had been... If he had changed completely by the end of the movie the people who were making this complaint would be saying that he changed too much and that it was too drastic of a change. Uh, it was a realistic change. I know I'm bringing up realism in the movie that has, you know, pocket dimensions and subspace highways, but yes, I am. Because as far as, as the way characters act, everything in this movie was extremely realistic. And if you disagree with me there, then I have to say you've never been in a relationship, or dumped someone, or been dumped, because you felt all the things that these characters are felt, um, so I guess to sum up my point about Scott Pilgrim, uh, yes he is an asshole, he is a jerk, I know this, I don't think that makes the movie bad, so I'm gonna use that to segue into talking about the fact that I don't think Having a protagonist that's a jerk, or even a downright evil character, is a bad thing. Um, I don't think it's a reason to outright dislike a movie. Because not every person in the world is, you know, a white knight, puppy-saving hero. Um, I'm certainly not. I can't say I know anyone who is. Uh, and that's not to say that... Anyway, off topic. But, um... The point being that every movie doesn't have to have a character with good morals. Every movie doesn't have to have the hero be the protagonist. And if you know the difference of those words, you'll know a degree of what I'm talking about. But the point is that just because a person isn't setting out to do the right thing, doesn't mean that his story is bad or doesn't deserve to be told. Uh, 
usually in movies and such these days, the only time you'll see a uh, straight up asshole as a main character is either in an action flick or in a comedy. And in a comedy, uh, I actually have no clue why, but there's plenty of comedies that I've seen that have com A, completely asshole characters, and B, completely unlikable characters as the main character that people seem to love, and yet they'll go ahead and bash uh, Scott Pilgrim for having a character who I think is likable, but still an asshole. Um, you, for example, I'm going to mention Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I'm not the first person to make this observation, but in the movie, Ferris Bueller acts like an asshole. The way he treats people, the things he does, and yet people like him because he's charismatic, because he's likable. They want to see what happens. They want to see if he gets caught or not. Um, and in action movies, there are plenty of action movies that have uh, a main character be a complete asshole throughout the entire movie, be sadistic, be cruel, but because either he's doing it for vengeance or be because he winds up doing the good or the right thing in the end anyway, people don't have a problem with that. Um, I've seen action movies where a good guy will do evil, merciless things and at the end, when it's time to save the day, they do so almost as an afterthought. I don't think that that person's good, a good character. And by good, I mean in a moral sense. Does that mean that, uh, that the movie is a bad movie because of that? No. I don't think so at all. I think there's room in this vast world of storytelling, it literally infinite world of storytelling, for there to be uh, protagonists of all sorts of moral complexities. Anywhere from your Superman character, very moral and just right and just, to a Batman character who's not quite as good, but still, he's a very good character. I mean, one of his key things is never to kill. Two action heroes who are slaughtered left to right, but left to right, but still stop the nukes and save the girl at the end of the day to uh, movies like, this is another Michael Sarah movie, I'm not saying that that has any meaning, but off the top of my head, Paper Heart. Uh, no, not Paper Heart, shit. I've just been thinking of that movie lately. Um, but Youth in Revolt, where Michael Sarah's character is a complete asshole throughout the entire thing, but I still enjoyed it. Do I think that it was, that he deserved what he got in the end? Which was just Actually, I'm not going to spoil it. No, I don't think he deserved the outcome, but I don't think that makes the movie bad. I don't think that it doesn't leave a bad taste in my mouth. I'm able to separate the fact that the character that I watched progress on, on screen is not a good person, and I'm able to let that not reflect upon myself. A lot of people seem to always put themselves in the shoes of the protagonist which has never made sense to me when you do it fully. I mean, like, for example, when I was reading Scott Pilgrim and he stole, basically stole Wallace's credit card to uh, buy dinner for himself and Ramona, did I think, did that leave a bit of a bad taste in my mouth? Sure, because that's an asshole thing to do. But that doesn't mean that I have to take it personally, is what I'm getting at. I think that's, I think I've just summed up my point, the point that I've been trying to make. Just because the main character is a bad person, you don't have to take it personally, you don't have to take it to heart. They're not trying to say that you're a bad person. Just because you agree with things the main character does in some degrees doesn't mean when he does bad things that you become a bad person by extension. Uh, I'm getting close to the 10 minute mark. And I think I've said uh, all I've had to say, so I just want to add at the end here. If you disagree with me at all, please leave comments and video responses as to why. Uh, I'll answer as many of them as I can. Uh, this is all for now. See you, YouTube.